Just hats off to them. They shot the ball well. Uh, we didn't guard them very well, but they shot it well, and uh, they came ready to play. I mean, they uh, obviously had a lot of, a lot of energy and a lot of urgency, and uh, we just we can't give up 80 points. I mean, you just can't do it and be successful, especially in this league and on the road. So, uh, got to do a better job and got to get back to work. Uh, it doesn't get any easier. So, you know, I think all ACC games uh, are tough. On the road, they're extra tough, and uh, you got to play extremely well. So, again, they uh, they played better than us tonight. We'll go ahead with questions for the players. What was kind of the challenge on a three-point line guarding that? They were knocking a lot of shots down out there. I mean, that that's just it. They were they were knocking down shots and contested, uncontested. Uh, like Coach said, hats off to them. Uh, they came in knowing what they needed to do, and they, they did it successfully, unfortunately. So, so. This is the second straight game where y'all have given up 80 points or more. Um, I mean, part of it is, yes, your opponents are hitting shots, but, you know, what are y'all – what are y'all saying after after you hold Notre Dame to under 50 and now and now this? You know, like Coach Moore said, it all come down to defense. You know, we have to pay attention to who we're playing and um, to the scout and how to play that player and stuff like that. Yeah, he's telling us the same thing after the win, uh, the losses. He's telling us we can't win games giving up 80 points. It was 85 the other day and it's 80 tonight and. We're not going to win games like that. So it starts with us. Like I said, it starts with defense. And we just got to turn it up. We got to figure out what we're going to do because we don't have that much time. So. Is it just you know, not staying focused on those individual scouts? Or you know, is there something else y'all can attribute that to? Uh, I don't want to say we're not focused, but could we buy in more? Absolutely. Uh, could we be more urgent? Absolutely. And that's just what we have to do. We have to buy in just a little bit more. So. Yeah. Teams are throwing more and more zone defense at y'all. Do you feel like you guys are improving in the zone, like beating the zone on offense? Um, you know, like we're try we're trying to like attack the zones, you know, in the gaps and kicking it out, dishing it for the three. So just working on that more. Uh, like you said, more teams are throwing the zone at us. So just being patient with the ball and uh, not forcing the shot up, stuff like that. Uh, to piggyback to piggyback off that, teams. Respectfully, respectfully, if teams are guarding us, man, we're we're gonna get the dub. I feel like I feel like nobody can keep us in front. So when these teams go to zone, I do think it throws us off a little bit. It's a little trickier, but as long as we keep attacking those gaps, looking for the kick, pulling up if we need to dish, we just have to keep making the right reads, and I think it'll go our way in the future. So. It's early, obviously. You haven't had a chance to watch the film, but if you can strip down and say one thing, okay, we did this, we might have went back to Raleigh with a win. What do y'all think it would have been? For both players, a few things. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, boxing out um, in in the first half, um, and defense, just cutting off baseline and uh, flooding down. One thing, uh, that's something to choose from. Uh, I just say I, we should have wanted it more. Um, it doesn't matter if we came in saying okay we wanted more, but we have to show that for 40 minutes. Uh, we came out blazing in the first three five minutes, but. We just we just got to put 40 minutes together, so we got to be more urgent for 40. So. All right, so we can do one more with the players before we let them okay. get out. Just real quick, um, you get a rivalry road game, and as a reward, you get another rivalry road game. What are you all looking at on Sunday? We're just having this back to back. Oh uh, well, we haven't scouted them quite yet, but because we gotta, you know, take this one to the chest. But um, we played them before. We know what they're capable of, and we gotta shut them down, and we gotta go get this dub on the road. So bounce back game. Definitely. Thanks, players. Thank you. Thank you. Move forward with more questions for Coach. Wes, they seem to, you know, obviously they got to make the threes, but it seemed like they had a lot of open threes. It seemed like there was lagging contested defenders. Yeah, I mean, again, you know, it's no secret Donarski's a great three-point shooter, and we let her hit five. And then Zalea, I guess, uh, and that's what she does. I mean, she came into this game and – ACC plays. She was two for seven from the field and two for seven from three. So not a big secret. Uh, but we just didn't, you know, didn't didn't get it done. Uh, you know, with Donarski, uh, one time on the zone, we left her, uh, which 
you know, we kind of have a rule. You don't leave a shooter until the ball is all the way reversed to the other side of the floor. And we left when it went up top and they just threw it right back. And then the, she likes to do a ghost screen and we let her come off that and bury a three. And we'd gone over that many times, uh, how we wanted to defend that. We didn't get that done. So, uh, but like I said, they hit 11 out of 21. That's hard to do, but we're not playing horse. You had a chance to guard them and uh, we didn't guard them. So, you know, it falls about ultimately I got to do a better job of getting point across and hold them accountable and things like that. What are your thoughts about what Sanaya said regarding, you know, you guys going up against the man to man defense? Uh, to the zone? Hey, y'all, we just scored 85 points and 70 points against the zone. I don't think our offense is the issue. I mean, really, scored 85 Sunday and Georgia Tech played zone the whole game. So, yeah, I'm not going to buy into that. We, uh, you know, again, Attack it differently, but yeah, I mean, we 70 points ought to win a game, 85 should win a game, so we're you know, we're fine there. We got to guard somebody. I mean, that's been your calling card for most of the season, and you've been successful uh, on defense. Um, from your perspective, <clears throat> what's the shift? Well, I mean, again. Let's face it, y'all. I mean, if you saw the Georgia Tech game, yeah, they hit some ordinary shots. They also hit some crazy shots, okay? I mean, do y'all realize that kid hit that shot from the half-court logo uh, left-handed and she's right-handed, okay? I mean, you know, you look at that and think, oh, maybe, you know, maybe it's not meant to be. But uh, tonight... Yeah, I mean, it's frustrating. I mean, they still had to hit the shots, so that's why I give them a lot of credit. 11 out of 21 threes is not easy to do. Uh, but, you know, what was it uh, What was it? Coach said? Uh, they are who we thought they were. I mean, yeah. I mean, Donarski can shoot the heck out of it. You can't leave her open. You can't let her spot up. And, uh, and we did. And then, you know, uh, and again, I'm Godding. Number five, you know, we let her bury us right at the rim. And either you got to push her up or you got to get in front of her, but you can't let her sit there and shoot a baby hook from three feet all night. Uh, so, some point, like I said, they got to buy in. I got to make sure, hold them accountable, and uh, we got to fix it. So, like I said, I, maybe we read a press clippings too much after the Notre Dame game. You know, that's all we heard was, oh, man, what a great defensive job. Well, you know, we've come back down to earth now. The uh, second quarter, I think, is where they created the separation. Well, we were three for 21 in the second quarter. So, yeah, that, that that's tough. That's that, yeah. that's. But, again, we still had a chance to overcome it. I mean, what we? I know we cut it to three. Did we tie it? Uh, cut it to three. Cut it to three twice. Yeah, I mean, so again, we had plenty of opportunities to overcome the second quarter, and uh, but we didn't do it. And and they kept, you know, they kept hitting shots. They kept executing and hitting shots. And um, yeah, and like I said, it's just, you know, it's you got to play better than that on the road in this league. It's a tough league. Take a couple more. And and they got a lot of talent over there, folks. I mean, uh, you know. They got a lot of nice players, so give them credit. Talk. Another Tobacco Road matchup Sunday against a Duke team that just knocked off Syracuse tonight. What's going to be the biggest defense to refocus, <laughs> biggest key to refocusing defensively? Yeah, you know, uh, again, buying into the scout, guarding people. I mean, taking some pride and getting in front of somebody and, and taking away their strength. I mean, you know, again, all these players tonight, I thought we kind of told them the key to – we don't do a real elaborate scouting report. We keep it pretty simple. You know, this kid does this well, take this away. This kid does this well, take this away. Um, and we didn't take that away. So, what, at City Slickers, one thing. Okay, you got to figure out what that one thing is. So, on each player – and take that away. You just shot 27 three-pointers. Is that something you want to be doing? or? Is it hey, we shot, we hit 33%. All right, so when you do the math, that's like hitting 50% from the field. So, because you get three points instead of two. 
So I'll take 50% from the field. I'll take 33%. But when you're letting them shoot over 50%, it don't add up. You lose. So, yeah, I'm all right with that. That's like when last year, Caitlin Clark scored 45 on us, and I got in the press room, and they asked me, what do you think about some of the shots she took? Are you kidding me? She's shooting over 50% from the field? I don't care if she shoots it at half court. So, I mean, again, 33% isn't horrible. Uh, would I like to attack more, get to the rim more? Sure. But, uh, again, we also kind of fell behind and had to really look to – get downhill and try to score in a hurry. So, but yeah, I'm all right with that. Coach, uh, these games against UNC, they're packed, they're emotional. They feel like they're good for women's basketball in this area. Next season, you're not going to play them twice. Uh, <clears throat> is that bittersweet at all? Not really. <laughs> no, I mean, I don't know. Uh, uh, you know, it is what it is. And uh, so, you know, I hope we play them at home next year. How about that? But, uh, you know, uh, it's change. And uh, it was good for the conference. You know, they did what they needed to do. You saw what happened to the Pac-12. I think that's what they used to call that conference. Okay. Uh, our commissioner wanted to make sure the ACC didn't have that same issue. So now we got extra teams. So if somebody decides to leave, then we still got a league. So. Thanks, everybody. Appreciate it. Thank y'all. Thank you. Thank you.